Yes, there have been reports of recovered cases. You know, the first uh, case in Thailand, uh, the uh, first exported case, uh, apparently that individual as well, and, uh, and a number of cases in Singapore who and have been infected. Free. He's completely uh, recovered? Yes, they wouldn't have allowed the patient to be discharged unless uh, they were virus free. And I'm also curious, Paul, one question we hear about so often now is because of this notice that you can be contagious during your incubation period. But the incubation period is pretty long, up to two weeks, correct? So how can you spread it during that time? Is it from touching? Is it from shaking hands? How is the virus actually transmitted? Well, you know, the, the flu is actually uh, infectious during the incubation period. A day or two before you get symptoms of the flu, you can actually spread it to someone else. So if you're in close contact with somebody and you cough or you sneeze, even before you've had any major symptoms, uh, or if you're, you, know, you come in contact with somebody, uh, you can spread the flu. And if this is really true about this virus, it's actually a big concern because, you know, it's really hard to control the spread of the flu. If somebody in the office has the flu, everybody's going to get it after a period of time. Right. And let's talk about what that means for Singapore here, because right. with five cases confirmed, I mean, what do you expect the numbers to look like? Well, I expect the numbers to go up, certainly. Um, as for now, all of the cases are imported cases. And uh, as you've heard, the government has put in uh, ex uh, extremely vigilant measures to pick up on people who are returning to Singapore from China over the uh, Lunar New Year weekend. So uh, it's pretty sure that we'll pick up uh, a few more cases from individuals from Wuhan or other parts of China. But uh, I think and I hope with all the public health measures put in place that we will not get local transmission. Hmm. Uh, does the situation get better from here or worse? Well, I think we haven't hit the, the worst. Um, I think in the next couple of weeks, you know, you have to allow for an incubation period for the impact of the public health measures put in uh, both in China and in the rest of the world. So I would say by, um, you know, maybe the, the end of the Chinese New Year period, the, the 15th day of the new year, uh, you'll, you'll have some indication of whether they, we've turned the corner. What do you know about the mutation process of this virus? Because we've had the National Health Commission come out and say that, look, the virus seems more contagious and the spreading ability of the virus seems to be getting stronger. Well, this is not due to a mutation, and we know this for a fact, because there are 25 genomes of the virus which have been published, and uh, uh, they're very closely related, mm -hmm. which suggests that they all came from a, a particular source. Uh, an event occurred maybe in October or November, somewhere in Wuhan, mm -hmm. and the virus has been very successful in spreading. What the minister means when he talks about transmissibility is I think we've reached the point where there's so many people infected who are out there in the community, and so it's easy to spread. In order to stop a virus from spreading, you've got to isolate everybody who's sick. You've got to find every case, make sure they're isolated. They don't have a chance to spread it to anyone else. And then you can stop the, the epidemic. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.